Yo, what's up? What's good? This is Squad. How you doing? How you feeling, man? It's your boy, D-Bag, y'all another Bang Reaction, man. And today, man, we got Memphis Grizzlies not bringing back Dylan Brooks. So, I've heard about this situation. I have been aware of this situation ever since they were playing against each other in the playoffs. The Grizzlies and the Lakers. You feel what I'm saying? I just didn't know it was that serious. You feel what I'm saying? You know, of course, Dylan Brooks was was had a little feud with LeBron because he tried to make it seem like he was old and he won't LeBron, you know, like he won't steal that dude. And LeBron just had to let him know, like he let everybody else know that that had it down on him. Like, yo, I'm still him. Like, you feel me? So he had to be in that trout. You feel what I'm saying? He had to get it. He had to get it like that. So it's like apparently I don't know, he was playing too reckless or whatever it was. And it was like, yo, the Grizzlies was like, yo, don't let him back on the court under any circumstance. And I quote under any such like they was talking like this dude was a criminal you feel me so it was it's crazy so I, I, I might as might well put my two cents in uh reacting to this because i didn't know uh that they was trolling the heck out of him though i ain't gonna lie they was trolling this man i ain't gonna lie but we finna hop into this man uh see what cbs sports had to say about it you feel what i'm saying because apparently everybody talking about it about how the, uh, the Grizzlies was talking to him like he was a criminal or something. Like he was tackling folks on the court or something. But yeah, man, without further ado, if y'all haven't already, y'all appreciate all y'all. Y'all subscribe. I appreciate all y'all taking time out y'all day to check my content out. Uh, we are we right there. Right there, 4K, baby. You know what I'm saying? There's a few subscribers left, so why not just hit that button? It's just a little button. It's just a little button. Just hit the subscribe button. You feel me? And just it, it, join the family. That's all I'm asking for. You know what I'm saying? Just take a little time in your day. Just hit that button. You know? We're going to hop into it, man. Let's get it. This just in from the NBA. The look at his face, bro. <laughs> like, why every time I look at him, he looks like he sees a ghost or something? Like, why is this, like, why, why does he look so, like, depressed? Like, like, like he's surrounded by trouble. You feel me? Like, look at, like, he never, I never seen this man smile in existence. Like, I, like, what's going on? This Grizzlies have informed impending free agent Dylan Brooks that he will not be brought back under any circumstance. I told y'all what I say. I told y'all. And I quote, under any circumstance. You know what you know what you gotta do for them to say for them to say that though? Like it's been a lot of people that's been going crazy on the court, but to say what any circumstances? Like that's crazy, bro. You need to that's when you know you gotta calm down for at that point. That's according to the athletic. Often colorful and brash, Brooks has been the center of many controversies, most recently for trash talking LeBron James and hitting him in the groin during the first round. Oh, Sunday. yeah, he did do Brooks that. was fined $25,000 over the weekend for not. 25000 $25,000? 25, $25, God, dog. For hitting, the, for hitting the, arguably one of the best, arguably the best NBA player in, in the private party. Yo, God, dog. Twenty-five dollars. I, I don't care how much money I got. I would want to. <laughs> I would not want to be fined fined at twenty-five thousand. I ain't gonna lie. I would have a face like that if somebody if somebody fined me for twenty-five thousand. I ain't gonna lie. I'm talking to the media after the Grizzlies three losses in L.A. And he has had his fair share of issues. I'm talking to Casey with fans, ladies in L.A. See, and he even had a few with fans. See, bro, this dude help, bro. Said he would prefer to play Lakers in playoffs. Call, yeah, call him old. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Who's on and off the court. Here's a little timeline. January 23rd, he was involved in an altercation with fans. And that was in L.A. On April 20th, he called the to play. Let's welcome in the coach. We got Avery Johnson with us now. Now the Memphis Grizzlies, they've informed Dylan Brooks he will not be bought back. Under any circumstances. Under any circumstances. That's crazy. I'm not really surprised. Uh, this is probably a culture shift for the Memphis Grizzlies. Uh, they're a team that did a lot of talking off the court, a lot of dancing on the, off the court. <laughs> it's a parade of my city, yeah. <laughs> Yo, I've seen some funny memes on TikTok, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. That's been clowning the Grizzlies after they lost to Lakers, bro. Like, they, they you had LeBron, like, you know, with bullies, like, like grab the kids in the, in the choco and just, you feel me, rubbing, <laughs> rubbing off the people's scout. That's what he was doing. That's what LeBron was doing to Dylan Brooks. That was, man, that was foul. I ain't gonna lie, bro. They got embarrassed by 40 points 
in a closeout game then get for the Los Angeles Lakers. And Dylan Brooks, some of his antics oh on the court. Yeah, yeah fans, that's when he hit him in his face. Uh, the chatter. Uh, it really just didn't add up to production. Ugh. And because of that, he, he did that on purpose. Like, come on now. How you back in somebody, come on, peace like that? that How you back in somebody, peace like that? Like, that's crazy. If that's the type of stuff you on. You, you act, you act. Down shots. He was a physical player that played through contact. I think he's got to get back to that type of a Dylan Brooks. Do less talking. Go to a team and talk about how he can help them, even if it's not his starting role. If Dylan Brooks was a seven or eight man on a really good team, uh, playing you know 22 minutes a game, uh, he, he can really help somebody. So his career is not over. I just think doing that interview and process. <laughs> I'll tell you what is done with him. <laughs> They're Grizzlies. <laughs> hey, dog. <laughs> Nah, I mean, I agree with that, though. Like, I wouldn't say, like, his his career is over. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, I mean, just to just by playing reckless and doing stuff like, like your career can't be completely over. That'd be, that'd be harsh. But you feel me? But they definitely, he definitely will have to, you know, say, like, keep working hard, um, you know, for another Scott, for another team to pick him up. Because he might be a free agent for a minute. I ain't gonna lie. He might be. But I ain't gonna lie. His career ain't open though. You know what I'm saying? Cause he's a good player. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, he's a good shooter and stuff. You know, but Grizzlies don't want no parts of him no more. When he's talking to future teams, he needs to talk about how he can help them on the court and how he's not going to be a distraction to a team, but he can be an asset, and not a liability. Mm. Maybe this is a little bit of a wake-up call for Brooks there. Now, what do the Grizzlies do to kind of supplement? Yeah, all types of wake-up calls. An incredibly talented player. Well, I, I think, you know, you can address it through the draft, you can address, but you're definitely going to need somebody that has some stripes on the wall, that's been a veteran, uh, that's been more of a well-respected veteran, and not some young player that's unproven. Veteran presence always welcome to in these clubs. Mm. Avery Johnson with the latest. Avery, thank you so much for your insight here as we just Avery Johnson. got the news of Memphis Grizzlies informing impending free agent Dylan Brooks that he will not be brought back. All right, well, basically, basically we, we heard everything we had to hear. You know, basically, you know, the Grizzlies just, they stand on what they said. Um, we know that his career ain't going to be completely over, but his, his, his days are, as a Grizzly, are, are over for sure. Um, you know, I'm, I'm sure he learned his lesson. Like, like, do so. Like, every said, I definitely not surprised because you just like everybody is not the only one that's that said that about LeBron. That like he's old and that he can't, he don't play. He missed the uh, Cleveland and Heat. LeBron, not the only one did that. You just, you, he just added you to the pile. You feel what I'm saying? That's how I look at it. But yeah, you know, I, I, he brought it on himself. If you ask me, Dylan brought all this on himself. You know, he knew what was going on. You feel me? So he knew. He knew LeBron was about to get back in his bag. He's about to lock in and he's about to knock y'all out in the playoffs. That's what he did. You feel me? That's what he always proves the hate is wrong. You feel me? So, you know, shout out to LeBron. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know who's going to pick Dylan up, but I don't know. I mean, <laughs> you're going to have to see. But I appreciate everybody that tuned into this reaction, man. I hope y'all learned something. You know what I'm saying? I hope y'all enjoyed the content. Uh, y'all just keep, you know, running them up, you know, the videos, uh, all the playlists, you feel what I'm saying? We got videos on videos coming this week, you feel what I'm saying? I am looking forward to, to just giving y'all this content, you know, y'all know I love this, man. It's my passion, man, entertaining y'all, you feel what I'm saying? I appreciate everybody that take the time of the day to watch my videos, man. Yeah, I will leave the original video link description down below, um, if y'all, if y'all want to watch this on y'all own time. But other than that, man, Deep is out. Peace, y'all.